Philosophy, the contention of a concept. Philosophy, this word is so malleable in meaning. One's philosophy of life, talking about the ethics of something otherwise scientific, doing research on a person someone once called a philosopher, yet also conducting experiments, gazing at the stars and dissecting a sea creature. These are all activities carried out by philosophers. We are left with a very confused concept indeed. This is not a problem for many registers of language. Indeed, it is the mainstay of many of them. However, for better or worse, less mutable definitions are the bread and butter of the highly professionalized academia we find ourselves in today. So, what do we tend to mean in a professional context? Even that remains murky at times. What I often see coming out of philosophy faculties and departments is a sort of veneration for characters, without a total emphasis on their body of work. I am very partial to this myself. I find myself drawn to individuals whose work I find fascinating, with a mind that manifests itself resounding across the decades, centuries, or millennia. This is both healthy and necessary to the pursuit of knowledge. We benefit from role models and antecedents. Simple as that, right? And yet, this urge is not always bridled by that other healthy urge, the urge to be skeptical of ideas, to the trepidation surrounding the temptations of hero worship. Many of those studying philosophy talk about figures of philosophy and an increasingly narrowed and narrow-minded shortlist of those who, looking back with the 2020 vision of hindsight, fit the current definition of philosophy. Indeed, a number of publications, modules, courses, lectures, etc. that bring a philosophical perspective to a particular topic often quote one or two of the thus far canonized philosophers. The method itself isn't particularly philosophical, it relies on the notion that if a philosopher said it, hey, it's philosophy, and likewise if a scientist says it, then hey, science. So, you can bring philosophy to science by taking a study or literature review and saying, as Kant or Hegel said, da 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 da, Whilst this can be part of the discussion, that speaker or author usually cites philosophers in such a way as if to say, hey, that's interesting, or because philosopher N said this and that, that an idea must have merit in and of itself. It seems then that the tone is amiss, that the emphasis has shifted from ideas themselves to people with ideas, cited by people who are themselves fans of the people with the interesting ideas. In order to preserve the integrity of a canon of thought, it is important to be honest as to what philosophy has been, is, and can be, so that such endeavours can continue. Indeed, the basic notion of philosophy is the most intellectual and most promising concept that one could come across. Philosophy can itself be equivalent to the logic at the end of many words, the study of something. After all, when a PhD is obtained, that person is a doctor of philosophy. Let's bring back the relevance of this notion. Let's all be philosophers, and let's all truly have a love of knowledge and of wisdom.